Hello, welcome to the Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Uh, last video when I was in this hive number 22, someone left a comment that this hive is honey bound. And I got to thinking about it and they're absolutely right. This top deep brood chamber was completely full of honey and I need to put some empty frames or some drawn frames in the middle of this top deep chamber so that queen can go up and lay. Otherwise, she's gonna feel constrained and wanna swarm. So we still have the fall flow coming up here in uh, September, October timeframe. So this hive has a little bit of time left to grow. And if that uh, queen swarms, chances of this hive being strong coming into next spring are a lot slimmer. So I'm going to pull out two frames of honey out of the center of this uh, this bottom this middle box right here and i have two single deep hives over here i'm going to pull out uh, just an empty drawn frame and bring it over and put in here and i also have that hive that's the tiny swarm that they could use a frame of honey as well so i may use that so first i'm going to get in here and take out two frames go over there and see what i find in those two single deeps and based on what i find uh it'll be uh depend on that Will be what i do over here what i bring back and put in here but uh yeah thanks for the comment and uh i'm gonna fix that because i have uh, never had a problem with honey bound hives it's usually pretty dry here in central oklahoma and our honey flows my honey flows that i've experienced are not that strong this year it was so this is my sixth year of beekeeping and this is the first time i've ever seen this problem so i didn't know what to do with it i didn't even recognize it so Thank you to the person that left the comment, and uh, we're going to fix that right now, so let's get started. Take a quick peek in it and see if they're working on it much. If I remember right, they hadn't even touched it. Got my sweat bands, so I got sweat just dripping off of me. Yeah, there's nothing going on up here at all whatsoever. So get this out of the way. So we'll pick out two nice honey frames here, probably these two center ones, and just get them out of there. give you a shot of what that looks like okay so you can see there you can see all the honey so all these frames are full except that one on the very outside or the two outside ones so I'm gonna pull this outside frame just so I can work my way in there So see how that's all, they're drawing that out and it's all full of nectar. Same thing there, and that's the outside frame. Most of my hives, the bees don't touch much of the outside frame at all. Here's one I checkerboarded in later. So the frame next to it is so fat, there's not hardly any room for them to draw that out. So I may make that my outside frame i don't know let's see what else we got in here so completely full of honey there honey this is another one that i've checkerboarded in there so there's not much room because the one next to it is so fat But here's one of these really heavy frames. So that is thick 100% honey. So, and that was all filled up in probably two weeks, this whole top box. 
So I'm going to shake these bees off, try to. It's so dang heavy. I need my brush. So there's one. Grab this one right next door to it. Which is all drawn out on this side, but not that one. So I think I'll take this next thick one. There we go. So we'll take that and give that to another hive. That's completely capped on both sides. And that probably weighs, I don't know, 12, 13 pounds. And it's hard to shake. So now I'm going to go over to another hive and uh, find some drawn out frames that are empty and put right here. So I'm going to put this inner cover on here just for now, just to hold it, just so it's not exposed. And let's go over there and see what we can find on these other hives. As you can see, it's a single deep. Uh, for whatever reason, it's not very strong this year. Look for a queen on here. Don't see one. So I see strong bee presence from here to probably right here. So there's easily a frame I can pull out of here. There's one right there, completely drawn frame, that, well, except for that side, and they're not touching it. So let me grab the one next to it, see what it looks like. I'd like to get one that's drawn on both sides. So it's drawn on both sides. They're putting a little bit of nectar in this. Actually, there's quite a bit right there, so I don't want that frame. So it looks like that's going to be the one unless I find something different on this other one. Let's look over here real quick. There's a few bees on this outside frame. Now they're just putting a barely little bit in there and nothing in there. Make sure I don't see a queen on here. I don't. I'm going to shake these bees off. I'm going to use this frame right here and I'm going to open this up and put that honey frame in one of those honey frames in here so I don't want to separate pollen from the brood so I need to find out where the pollen starts so there's brood nectar pollen right there and just nectar right there so if I put it on this side, I want it right here. See what we've got here. Nothing but honey and nectar. And there's brood here and larva. So the queen's using this frame. So I don't want to uh, separate that away from where it's at. So when I bring the honey over, it needs to be in, in this location or that location. I'll probably put it right here. Okay, we got one of the big honey frames. There's a few bees left on there, that's okay. 
So it's going to drop it in right here for now. Scoot this one on over. And I'm going to put, this one was over, uh, I don't remember. Anyway, I'm going to put it right here with the comb to the inside. So this hive here, it could probably use the second deep put on it, but I don't know how much they'll touch it. So what I need to do is pull one of these frames that's got some capped root on it up to this new second deep that I put on here. We'll do that a different day, maybe this weekend. So if this hive doesn't get built up anymore, we just added some resources to it to help, help it get through the winter. And here's the frame we're going to take over to the uh, hive 22. Let's go down here to a hive number 15 and we're going to do the same thing we did right here. Okay, here's hive number 15, single deep. Since this hive wasn't real strong, I pulled a small brood frame out of here and moved them over to Tiny Swarm last week. No queen on the inner cover. So you can see from the Tiny Swarm hive, I brought over these two brand new frames that are undrawn. Well, guess what I forgot to put in hive number 11 over there. Beetle trap. I forget those every time. Every time. You think part of every time I'd figure out eventually. Okay, where were we? We're looking for a frame that's drawn out and nothing on it. So that's got a lot of nectar in it. We don't want that. So let's try the other side. We may wind up putting one of those blank frames in there. I hate to do that. Here we go. So here's a nice empty comb. Well, that side doesn't have anything on it. So let's see what this other one has. Empty, empty, no eggs, nothing. So since this side's mostly drawn out, this side's completely, I'm gonna grab this frame right here, shake these bees off. And I need to figure out where to put the honey. Getting ahead of myself here. There's brood there, brood there. So the honey needs to go right there, I would assume. There's no pollen on that frame. So we'll put it right here. Okay. Here's our big honking honey frame. I'm gonna put the uncapped towards the inside. Since it's so fat, I'm not gonna push these frames up against each other because they need a little bit of space to get into that thing which I don't normally like doing that, but I don't have much choice. Okay. 
and put the undrawns back where they were. I should check this for a queen, but they look fine. I saw capped brood. I'm happy with that. Back this one off because it's so fat. Okay. And look what I remembered. Need my smoker. I'm too lazy to go get it. Get out of there. There's two bees under there. Don't want to come out. There we go. Okay. All right, now let's take these two empty frames over to Hive 22. Okay, here we are back at Hive 22. Brought over our two empty frames from our weaker hives that weren't using this drawn comb. And we're gonna put it to good use to uh, take care of this honey-bound hive. Got a lot of bees up on here. I'm going to shake them down. So probably to do this the correct way, I should pull a brood frame up into here. So let's, man, I hate to lift this off of there, but this is a dang heavy. But we need to do it right if we're going to do it. So at least I'm not lifting this with uh, three frames in it, two really heavy ones, so it won't be as bad as last time, but it's still going to be plenty heavy. Not too bad. So you can see they already built this burr comb back up again. get that cleaned off that's mostly honey all oh, honey There's brood right there. So I'm going to pull this up to the top. Let me go one more. That's honey and brood. Man. So I'm going to go with this one. Boy, I don't know. I was hoping they'd have have enough to put empties all around. I think I'll go with this one because it's half brood, half honey.
taking one of the empties I'm going to put it right here put the good side to where all that brood is gosh that don't fit very well This comb was just too thick. So what I'm doing is I'm scraping this off, trying to get it thinned down so I can fit it up against that other frame without smashing bees and they'll repair this it's no big deal yeah it's much better So like I said, I've never uh, done this process before. So if anybody sees anything I need to do different, let me know. I just flip that frame around so honey's to the outside, blanks to the center. Give them a little more space. Okay, let's get that... Uh, other deep back on here. So I pulled that one frame of brood up right here. I have my other empty one here. So it's going to go next to that brood. I think I'm going to try and move one of these skinny frames next to that. So maybe they'll draw that out and make a brood frame out of it. Like here's empty. A little bit of honey. So actually I think I'm going to put that right between them. Or actually this is the brood frame here. So I'm going to put this right next to that brood that's right there. So this gives them an open area that's got one empty drawn frame, brood, and an undrawn, mostly empty frame right there. Oops. So that gives them a lot more space up top. isn't fitting right when you get these frames drawn out as thick as they are because they were up against a frame that didn't have much drawn out on it there's not a lot of room between them So the comb in here is actually touching between these two frames. So I want to move this frame over to this side. And the bees are getting angry quickly. So this frame over here, there's nothing on it on the outside. So it'll fit in there nice and easy. It's a hive beetle.
Move all the frames at once so there's no danger of squishing the queen. So this, what I'm talking about is kind of where I scrape that other one off. This frame is, they've drawn that out way past the edge. So to put it up against another fat one, there's no room in there and you squish bees in between it and they can't get to it to work on it. So that fits in there perfectly without any issues. That's what happens when you start swapping frames around. I like to scoot all my frames to the front so beetles can't hide in the front. They can only hide in the back. That way the bees only have one side they have to propolis in to jail the beetles up. Okay, let's get the super back on there. Okay, I'm not running a queen excluder on this super because it's all undrawn. It's just wax foundation. So the queen's less likely to go up there and lay if, because there's no comb up there drawn ready for her to lay on. If I put uh, drawn frames in this super, the queen would go up there and fill it full of eggs. Okay, that's it for this video. Took care of the first time I ever had a problem with a uh, honey-bound hive. I guess that's a good problem to have. So there's a lot of bees in there. They don't appear to have swarmed. So maybe they'll actually start working on this honey super up here now. So hey, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks to the commenter who put the comment that said, you need to take care of that honey bound hive. So we did that. And uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We've got a lot going on here at the bee farm. And we'll catch you on the next video. Take care, y'all.